Welcome to another session of Read Jnaneswari along with me. Uh, we are in Kenya today at uh, Elephant Orphanage in Kenya. At this center, baby elephants are, who are injured, sick and separated from their parents. Uh, they are brought here, they are adopted and taken care. They are fed with milk. We will see some of those clips now. Uh, but uh, while doing that, I invite you to join to listen to a couple OVs from Jnaneswari. I am reading them from chapter 8 and we will start from OV 124. Uh, for the illiterate masses in India who were separated from the religious knowledge, he explained them uh, Gita in their language, in Marathi language which was so far only in Sanskrit and thus brought to them spiritual knowledge in India, how to worship and how to unite with God. We'll be reading, uh, we'll start chapter 8 and we'll start from OE 124. Uh, who totally abandoned sensual pleasures and control natural tendencies, then store me in the heart Thus they enjoy me. They are never satisfied in this enjoyment. In this, they forget hunger and thirst. Then how will they remember I and others who are thus forever united with me and are attached to me in the heart, have become me and still worship me? If at the time of death they have to remember me, and then only I shall go to them. In that case, why should they bother to worship me? If a distressed man gets stuck at the time of death and cries for my help, don't I respond to his call? If my devotees get same treatment, then why should they go through all this devotion and worship? So you don't need to have this doubt. Whenever they remember me, I must respond them when called upon. But even this burden I can't take. Seeing myself in that date, I repay this date. I nurse my devotees at the time of their demise, at the time of death. For the fear that agony of pain might affect his delicate body, his delicate body, I keep him in the cage of self-knowledge. In addition, I keep a cool shadow of my remembrance on this cage. Thus, I give him stable mind that this soul is eternal forever. See, my devotees never face that danger of death. I bring him to me without any hardship. I remove the covering of soul, mop the dust of pride on the surface, and I separate pure desire. Thus, I unite these devotees with me. I think we'll stop here. We'll soon meet again in this wilderness of Kenya. Uh, please join me next time. Thank you very much.